Pete Davidson cancelled his latest stand-up performance just two hours before he was set to take the stage. New York City's Beacon Theater announced on Friday, December 22, that Davidson's planned show for that evening had been cancelled along with his Saturday, December 23, set at the same venue. A message shared via the theater's official X account advised attendees that refunds would be issued automatically. The Beacon did not offer further details about what prompted the cancellation. Earlier on Friday, Pennsylvania's Pittsburgh Cultural Trust announced that Davidson's planned January 2nd show had also been canceled due to unforeseen circumstances. Davidson, 30, returned to stand up in September for a mini tour with fellow comedians John Mullaney and John Stewart after completing a stint in rehab earlier this year. In June, multiple outlets reported that the Saturday Night Live alum checked himself into a facility after struggling with PTSD and borderline personality disorder. Davidson's admission to the facility came weeks after he left an explicit voicemail for Daphne Nachminovich, the senior vice president of cruelty investigations at PETA. His tirade was in response to Nachminovich releasing a statement condemning Davidson's decision to buy a Cavapoo puppy for his mom rather than adopt from a shelter. The comedian later told TMZ that he wanted a specific hypoallergenic dog as he's allergic to most breeds and believed adopting such a dog wasn't an option, and if it was, it was rare. In November, Davidson made headlines at a solo stand-up show when he called out an audience member for filming with a cell phone during his set at NYC City Winery. According to an eyewitness, Davidson interrupted his set to address the person who was filming and shouted, FKU. Davidson then instructed his security guard to escort the person from the room before saying that he pays $10,000 to lock up your phones. Like many comedians, Davidson now asks attendees at his show to seal their phones in yonder pouches that cannot be unlocked for the duration of the performance. During the show, Davidson also joked about the March car crash he was involved in with ex-girlfriend Chase Sway Wonders. He said that the incident had been his first time being sober in nearly 15 years. He went on to quip that he was now willing to sign up to grant make-a-wish requests in order to get good press, which becomes more necessary once you drive into a house. Davidson lost control of his vehicle while driving in a residential Beverly Hills neighborhood, hitting the side of a house. He was later charged with one misdemeanor count of reckless driving and was ordered to complete 50 hours of community service and 12 hours of traffic school.